really, my story starts in Brooklyn, New York, but I've been all up and down the East Coast, and I live in Atlanta now, which I absolutely love Atlanta. We're in Miami right now, um, just taking in the good weather, beautiful art here in the Wynwood area, and uh, we're at Lab Miami, where I just finished the mural. My name's Rachel Bickford. I'm the operations manager here at the Lab Miami. Welcome to the Lab Miami. Come check us out. The Lab Miami is a creative campus for entrepreneurs. It was founded three years ago with the help from the Knight Foundation as the first co-working space in Miami. It's located in the heart of Wynwood. Um, we now have tons of really cool industries and companies working out of the space. And we're also an event venue. So we host everything from corporate events to seminars to networking events and happy hours. Being in the heart of Wynwood, we really um, represent the art scene here in Miami. So bringing in local artists and muralists is important not only to um, what we stand for, but to the aesthetics and creative space that the lab represents. Taking all this stuff in, I can't wait to be able to like let it all out on some sort of surface, you know. And um, having the opportunity to come over here to Lab Miami and actually put in some work, um, it's been a blessing. I mean, first time to Wynwood, uh, and I'm working, so, you know, there's no complaints from me. I'm going to have, at my end of the year, solo show, which would be similar to the piece behind me. It's, it's, it's based on elephants and ballerinas and um, kind of the, the relationship between these two opposite subject matters and kind of, you know, letting people know like where I'm at. Even on a personal level, I, I, I kind of filter my life through these uh, imaginary characters, you know? So when it comes to my paintings, it's kind of like my chance to really express who I am. Um, I'm not really into keeping things perfect or being even realistic at all. I, I think that's more of a job for like the camera. Um, I like my work to be more uh, dreamy. I, I want people just to feel like they're getting to look into my imagination or how I see things. Um, I, I, from what I understand, not a lot of people dream in color. I actually dream in color and bright colors. Uh, so I try to just keep you know everything vibrant, exciting, like you know a big, oversized elephant, uh, super. Um, delicate ballerina. I truly believe that imagination is something that every child is born with and unfortunately as you grow older a lot of people start losing it but I'm on a mission to, uh, to do the opposite. I, I feed my imagination consistently and um, I want that to reflect in my work. It's like kind of our responsibility to reflect our time period and where we are, you know, so I'm into relevant subject matter that, you know, deals with what I deal with day to day. Um, so you're going to catch like a lot, of, especially now, you'll catch like a lot of the heroes, villains stuff, um, you know, whatever is popular, whatever I feel like I want to comment on. Um, but I've definitely been drawn to elephants and ballerinas right now is my main just those two uh, subjects being so opposite of each other. That's the buzz. <laughs>